Hi, this is MSP Loom, and today I'm going to be making a single chain. So, you're going to want to start with the arrow pointing away from you, if you can see that arrow. Because this is a Wanderloo. Alright. And I actually broke my Wanderloom hook a couple of weeks ago. So I'm just using a crochet hook. Any kind helps or works, if you want to say. I actually have made a previously one. And this is just a gold and silver one. So you can use this as a... Um, example if you think you know how to make it so I'm just gonna set this here as an example for you all right like I said you want your arrow pointing away and you're gonna start at the first pin and you're gonna go to the next diagonal pin and then you're gonna do kind of the same thing, but you're gonna go the opposite way. We're only gonna use two rows for this. We're gonna repeat this pattern for a couple. We're gonna repeat this pattern all the way down. You're gonna need a lot of bands. All right. So you just repeat this pattern all the way down and there is another way to make this I have been told and I have done it before it is just all the way down one row you just keep on doing it and that I think would probably be easier but it would make it a shorter bracelet so like if you have like a bigger wrist you might want to do it this way but if you are a smaller a smaller child a smaller child I mean you might want to do it the other way you just do this all the way down This is actually not that tough. It's some of the other bracelets, like the bracelets, like the like the triple single or the dragon scale, are harder, but they're still easy. So after you've gotten all the way down that one pattern, like an M or a W, you want to. You want to flip it around so 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 the arrow is pointing to you and you're going to start right actually at the second pin so you take the one so sorry so, you want to, there's one right here, but you don't want to touch this one. You go under, you find this one, and over. Under, over. When they start to look like raindrops, you know that you're doing it right. And you just do that all the way down following a pattern. Just like we did when we were placing the loom bands. If I could say, this is actually quite harder than placing the bands. Because you don't want to grab any other band. You just want to grab that one band to, to bring over. This is, my opinion, probably the easiest one. 
but I'm going to start at easy for my videos, and probably the hardest one would be a double triple single, or a double starburst, and these are quite hard. You see, just messed up a little, got to just grab and over, you see? All right. So now go under, grab, over, and you do this all the way down, like I've said before. Sometimes the bands get stuck, and that is normal. If you are having trouble, remember... You can always look at this for an example. And for this design, you are, you're actually going to need a S or a C clip. So, under, over, under, over, under, over. Happens a lot. You just gotta grab and bring. It's easy as one, two, three. Oh. Not that hard. A little hard. A little hard. I'm not gonna lie. Don't wanna be a show off. And over, under, and over. Done. All right. S clip, C clip, whatever. Here you go. There it is. Go to the part that does not look like a raindrop. You just want to clip. See? And pull it off. Sometimes if you pull too hard, the bands break, and that is not a good thing. You want to make sure you do not take off the last one, or else your whole bracelet will fall apart. See? Alright. So now, you want to take this last one. Take your hook. I'm using my crochet hook, once again, I say. So you pull that like that, and like that. You go under and onto all right so now you are going to take this part with the s clip just push these together put your thumb in there it's usually what i do and take it off of the hook i'm gonna go like this and Done. There you have it, folks. A, a single chain. Bye.